Hey Ghoulians, welcome to Daily Dope. In this video, I am going to rank some of the most scariest episodes of the Unsolved series, and I am also including their highlights, so that you can relive the creepiest of the moments again. And yes, I have a good news about the new season. Tune into the video till the end to know, as I have some solid confirmation about it. But before we start, as you can see, more than 99% of viewers have not subscribed to this channel. This really demotivates me for future videos. So please take out some time to press that subscribe button. It is free, and you can also unsubscribe later on. And for those who have already subscribed, thanks for the support, it means really really a lot. Now, with that said, let us head to the main content. I will start with the Goatman's Bridge episode, which was completely filled with iconic moments. This was the one and only demonic investigation of that season. And perhaps this was the first time that they did just opposite to what Father Thomas said. If these places you're going claim to have spiritual attachments, I would do nothing to invite them to somehow show themselves or taunt them in any way. Perhaps, probably. I kind of directly disobeyed him in terms of communicating with ghosts and spirits and entities, but I'm doing it for the, the betterment of the science. Are you going to ever visit him again and show him what you've done? Yeah, I think I would. Like, for instance, if something happens to me tonight, I'll go back to him to get a blessing, to cleanse myself. You're going to need to cleanse yourself. But tonight, we're not here to find out why this demon exists. Our goal tonight is to make contact and hopefully capture evidence of this elusive and dangerous demon. And also, if you look at Shane's Twitter handle, you'll find that he had called himself as a bridge owner. That bridge is none other than this one. It all started in this very episode. Shane challenged Goatman to immediately kill him, which, as we all know, didn't happen, and hence, Shane claimed that bridge is his trophy. Take a look. Goatman! You feel that? Feel the Goatman energy? I don't like when you say his name. Feel some goat vibes? You may not like my... this. I'm gonna try and agitate it. I'm just gonna go. As... Go. You do what you gotta do, and I'll do what I gotta do. I'm just gonna be as crude as possible here. Cool. Fuck you, Goatman! Holy shit! Is dude. that good? I thought you were gonna build your way up. Don't... No, no, no. I just right out of the gate. Why build up? If you don't believe, then you, there's nothing for you to be afraid of, right? You could be as big a prick as you want. I'll I guess stand I over can. here. Goat man, I'm dancing on your bridge. It's my bridge now. Holy shit. You hear that? If you want me off this bridge, you're gonna have to kill me. Holy you're shit. gonna have to throw me off this bridge yourself. You did throw somebody off the bridge once. Look at the way I dance on it. I disrespect your bridge, goat man. He's taking names right now. You right? hear that, goat man? He's you sharpening and his Ryan little blades. Bagara own your bridge. Now. I don't. No, don't loop me yep. into your shit. Yep. Stop looping me. I'd hate when you do this. In well, the then tell places. him. Tell him you're not part of this. I'm not part of his little charade. You're talking to goat man now. I see what you've done. It's goat man and trapping. Goatman! I'm not with him. They're gonna put my name in graffiti. Oh my god. Okay. Children will come here and tell tales of me! And also the Ouija board moment was scary. By far, this was the most entertaining moment I had ever seen. See it yourself. Alright, this is your last chance, demon. If you're here, tell us your name. And again, you know the deal. I guess. If you don't tell us your name, then it's gonna be Shane's Bridge. You know what? Fuck it. Throw myself in there. If you don't tell us your name, it's me and Shane's Bridge. It's our bridge now. Oh god, I feel like I've gone to the dark yes. side. Yes. Well, my bridge. Ouija boards we got, we got, suck. We gotta close it. We gotta oh, close it. Yes. <laughs> G O O D B Y. So, this was pretty all about this episode. You can share your best moment from this episode in the comment section. I'll drop down the link to the original video in the description box. Now, let's head towards the next episode. The next on this list, is the Waverly Hills Hospital. This episode too covered some of the most scariest moments. Also, this was the episode, in which we witnessed this evergreen dialogue. Dude, I think we should let them know that we're entering, you know, just give them a quick, uh, Hey ghouls! The boys are here! And here comes a deleted scene. There was a body shoot inside this place, where they had to stay for some time individually. This was the only moment in which I have seen Shane terrified and running behind, and this clip was deleted in the original episode. But before I share the deleted clip, let's see the one which was included, for a better context. Regardless, Death was so common that the hospital actually contains a horrifying area nicknamed the body chute, a tunnel used to dispose of dead bodies out of eyesight from the other patients. The tunnel is roughly 500 feet long and leads down the hill. 
if I were staying here, I wouldn't want to be watching them <laughs> shuttle bodies through the hall all day. No. Like, oh, where's Pete? Uh, down the chute. They shoot at him. <laughs> they shoot at him. That's <laughs> fucked up. Pete Dunn got shooted. <laughs> Is that the body shoot? I think this is the body shoot. Well, let's take a look. Oh my god. This is awful. Now this is the nightmare. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no. You have got to be fucking sh- Are you fucking kidding me, dude? This is like Satan's cement butthole. Oh my god, Holy dude. Shit. Oh my god. How far does this go? Are we going to hell? Let's find out. If there's anybody down here that maybe aided this tunnel. This is a witch hole. Let us know. Make your presence known. Preferably now and not when we get to the bottom of this tunnel. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It looks like there's a soccer ball at the bottom. Well, that's good. Oh my god, are you serious? What is that? The wind? I don't know. It just went woo. I don't know what the fuck that was. It was a weird whoop noise. What if I go up there and you stay down here and we turn our lights off and see if we hear anything? What if you go fuck yourself? How about that? How long am I staying down here? A minute. A minute? Yeah. Fuck. All right. Three. Lights off in three. Two, one. one. Oh God. Oh, no, no, no. I hate this. This is sort of beautiful. I didn't even get to do all the things on my bucket list. Shut up. You shut up. Did you hear that? Is it a minute yet? Please tell me it's been a minute. Hello? Okay, it's been a minute. Oh, God. I'm leaving that. Get me the fuck out of here. I'm leaving. Goodbye, ghost at the bottom. I'm gonna. And here comes the deleted one. I'd like to thank our viewer, Magenta Jellyfish, for making us aware of this clip. See it yourself. Did you hear that? So when we were in that body shoot, um, we were hearing this like croak sound. And I was like, it's just a frog. But then Shane's just like, what is that? What the fuck was that noise? Oh, no, no. And Shane suddenly bolted. Guys? Guys? Okay. <laughs> and if Shane runs, and I'm left behind, I, I'd be terrified, because if Shane's scared, I gotta be. Oh, must be something real yeah. then. Yeah. Get me the fuck out of here. So before That was all about this scene. But this was not the most scary moment of this episode. There's a part in which Ryan threw a blue ball, and out of nowhere, it stopped just in front of his name, which was surprisingly written on a nearby wall. Watch it yourself. On the third floor, there are reports of a little boy named Timmy who likes to play with a blue rubber ball. All right, Timmy. My name's Ryan. This is my pal, Shane. Hi, Tim. I hear you like balls. Oh. No, wait, wait. Will we do a retake wait. on that one? <laughs> that had to be intentional. You're... I swear to God, I'm not doing this on purpose. I mean, this is a bit. Right? No, it's not a fucking bit, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm gonna bounce my ball. See, it's a bouncy ball. You like that? I like it. Wanna play? You wanna play? Why are you sound threatening? Like I know. You wanna play? Let's fucking play! Timmy, I'm very scared, but if you could throw this ball back, I won't be as scared. Oh my god, that's the biggest lie I've ever heard. Alright, Timmy, I'm throwing the ball down. You ready? Alright. It bounced a few extra times, though. Did you hear that? 
Do you think it bounced? A, I thought it bounced a couple extra times, but I thought it was just my mind playing tricks on me. It sounded like it stopped and then it bounced a little more. I don't know if that means ghost, but let's walk down and find the ball. <laughs> That's the most serious I've ever seen. Let's walk down there and find the ball. All right, Timmy, we're coming to get the ball. I don't know where it went. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Do you want the flashlight right now? Oh, there it is. No way. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> No! Oh no, 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 no! Ryan, the ball no. bounced. No, the ball stopped here. How the fuck Ryan, is that the possible? Ball, the ball stopped right here. How is that possible? Oh no! <laughs> they know! Oh. Ryan, they know! Shut up, dude. You know this is fucking weird. Shut up. Ball came right into this hallway. I don't know what the odds are, Timmy, that my ball would land right next to my name down there that I didn't know existed. I'm gonna roll the ball one more time, Timmy. We're coming over, Timmy. Uh, Where did this thing go? I think it's one of the- Oh, it's right there in the middle. Oh, perfect. That, now that's a good throw, Ryan. I mean, that's exactly how I threw it last time. No, it wasn't exactly. Yes, it was. No. It's like directly in the middle of the floor. So you think because it's in the middle now, it was moved before? Yeah, that's exactly what I think. I don't you know. You don't think it's odd that it stopped in the middle and then before it went into the room by my name? <laughs> But it also stopped at the I Love Pot graffiti, <laughs> so maybe this ghost just loves to blaze it. <laughs> there are more scary moments in here, but that will add to this video's length. I count this one as the most convincing evidence ever found. What are your views about it? Share that in the comment section. For number 3, I'll consider the haunted rooms of Dauphine Orleans Hospital episode, in this list. This episode included both scary and funny moments together. And this was probably the only episode, in which Ryan looked so uncomfortable, even at the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, if there's anybody in here, now's the time to let us know. Ah! Run, run. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> You said <laughs> you you set the thing on the sink and it moved. Oh, was that what that was? Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck, that's, okay. that's all that's happening. <laughs> Put that there. Oh shit. You gotta fucking calm down, Shut man. Up, Shane. And yes, I can't forget the jacuzzi moment. There was a jacuzzi in the hotel, which Shane desperately wanted to use. And at the end, they both used it, but at the same time. You could definitely smell the age of this room. <laughs> Holy shit! It's a jacuzzi tub! Ryan, this is the best place we've ever cleared? Stayed? Ghost busted? <laughs> we've never ghost busted anywhere. Are we doing more of this, or can I uh, use the jacuzzi hot tub that we've been blessed with? Are you serious? Oh, oh are we gonna spend the night here and not use that? The... The jets don't work. We're just two guys sitting in a tub. This episode also has scary moments. The first one, was their EVP recording some really conclusive sounds. Ghosts, I'm beginning to suspect that you're not real. Call it a hunch. But I've sat in a lot of dark rooms with this guy, talking to the air. Right after Shane speaks, our audio recorder picks up a voice possibly saying, I'm right there. But I've sat in a lot of dark rooms with this guy, talking to the air. Guy, talking to the air. Could this be one of the patrons of this former bordello? Yeah, I don't know. There's definitely a noise. I, I don't. I don't think it's compelling in the sense it doesn't sound like a voice. Cool. It also kind of goes right into your voice, though, which makes me think you're just like... When we both talk, it sounds so much different than our voices. So Take you, it if you want. You can have it. I think it's saying, I'm right there. You think it's me breathing. Yeah. And the most scary part was the footstep encounters. The whole episode is full of strange footsteps. If you can't catch him here, just follow him home all the way to Jack, California. Stop telling the ghost to follow me home. He's got a... 
Do you hear footsteps up I, above? Yeah, but there's no one up above. Well, the bordello's up there. Did you hear? I, f I fucking heard a footstep. Well, let's just go up there and we'll find out, I guess. And surprisingly, they found that the door was already open. And the door's open. Was it open before? Nope. Oh, fuck. There was also a more scary footstep encounter at the last. See it yourself. Holy shit. This is insane. It's fucking 5.15 in the morning. Oh my god, I got fucking chills. Is this not alarming to you, Shane? What the fuck? No. Jesus, between Shane snoring and this goddamn ghost, I'm gonna kill somebody. A nice morning sky. Let's leave. What if we find out that there's actually nobody even staying above us? I, I don't know, Ren. This place is strange. After, Shane returned to our normal hotel down the street, but I was still bewildered by the footsteps so I stayed back to investigate the only two rooms above our hotel room, only one of which was occupied. Hi, I just had a quick question. Um, I'm staying downstairs uh, under you, and I, just out of curiosity, were you? did you happen to be walking around? Oh, okay, I'm just like, I'm a little spooked. I thought it was. Well, there you have it. He wasn't walking, and not only was he not walking, he's been spooked too because he's wondering where the creaking and walking is coming from. What do you think about this? Drop it down in the comment section. Now, let us head towards the next episode. For number second in this list, I'll add the very first episode of this series, which is three horrifying cases of ghosts and demons. This episode consists of the Winchester Mansion case, the horrifying Doll Island, and the demonic Sally House. You can clearly see the difference in this Ryan Bergara, as he's really really uncomfortable in this episode. This was the episode where the boys first met Father Thomas, and undertook some guidance from him. Uh, first off, thank you for meeting with us, Father Thomas. Sure. Uh, I read a lot about you. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we... <laughs> How many exorcisms have you performed over your career? Formal exorcisms, I've probably performed 50 to 75 in 10 years. What is the difference between a ghost and a demon? A ghost would refer to a disembodied human soul. A demon is a preternatural, angelic creature that rebelled against God. It's not human. No, it's not. Their life form is dying. They've been dying since the moment they rebelled. And so they are attracted to human beings for two reasons. One, because they are parasitic and they, and they feed off our life form. But secondly, their goal is to take as many of us to hell with them as possible because they already know they've lost. I'm not trying to evangelize oh, you. I, I, oh, no, I just got a shiver down no. my spine. <laughs> so can a ghost and a demon both possess or maybe influence the living? Yes. And I've had those cases. Where are these homes you're going into? One of them is nearby here, the Winchester Mystery House. Essentially, it's a haunted mansion. And then the next one is a haunted doll island in Mexico City. The last place is perhaps the scariest. It's a house infested with a demon. Would it be possible for you to perhaps bless some water for something for me to carry? Yes. Do you have something? It's, it's literally just a water bottle. That's but. fine. I can bless it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In your kindness, hear our prayers and pour down the blessing into this element so that the health obtained by calling upon your holy name may be made secure against all attack through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for sure. sitting down with us and thank sure. you for yeah, it was this helpful. Fascinating. This yeah, was, was super helpful okay. and I feel a lot better about Good. what's about Good. to happen. Good. The Winchester Mansion didn't really have much scary moments, but the doll island was full of creepy dolls. However, the main concern here were not the dolls, but the spiders. There were large spiders all around, some of which will spook you too. Take a look. 
There's the original right here. What? Where? The one that looks. Oh, the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Holy shit balls! <laughs> I was just about to put the offering on the original doll and then. Holy shit, look at the spider coming out of it. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Yeah, these are fucking huge. Let's go. This is also his favorite doll right here. Okay, I don't care what his favorite doll is. <laughs> fuck that. Let's go. <laughs> There's cats right there. Oh, fuck me. There are spiders everywhere. Look at the size of the thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go under. <laughs> okay. Okay. We've had our fun. We're leaving this island. Where's Pepe? I'm over here. Ah, fuck. Spiders. Oh, this is the island of the spiders, not the dolls. Oh, they're everywhere. Ah, Jesus Christ. And you just run into possessed dolls? Ay. Toodaloo, Julian. Can't say it was pleasurable. But the real scary part was the Sally House part. The storyline itself was really horrifying. I can't present the whole story, but there were two noticeable terrifying moments, in which their flashlights turned on and off by themselves. This part was the highlight of this episode. But before we start, just one recommendation from me. If you're using a headphone, please turn down the volume, as it may damage your ears. Ryan was screaming really really hard in this episode. See it yourself. Alright, we are in the kitchen. Please turn the light on for us. Please don't, please don't do it. Demon? Stop calling it that. Demon! Stop it, stop talking to it! No, I just want to talk to the demons! We met a pal named Father Thomas. He told us not to talk to you, but I think you guys are swell. I would do nothing to invite them to somehow show themselves or taunt them in any way. If you like the guy staying here, turn the light on. You're fucking crazy, Shane. If you don't like us, turn it on. Please don't turn it on. Please don't. Ah! Oh shit! No! <laughs> Where's my holy water? Where's my holy water? If you actually don't like us, please just turn it on. I don't think I don't think they have the power to turn it back on again. Frankly, I really think they don't. Ryan, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? What the? Keep in mind, we have to spend the night here. <laughs> Please turn the light off for us, spirits. Don't you fucking do it. Turn it all the way off. Oh, don't, don't, Thank you. Oh, oh. fuck, don't, no, oh my god. What Please try. This? Oh my god. You should have never talked to it, dude. That's a car going by, it's okay. No, that's the fucking flashlight rolling in the background. Look, it's coming oh, back. Oh yeah, it is. It's a flashlight, it rolls, it's cylindrical. But it shouldn't roll back and forth like what? that. What? You should have never talked to it, dude. What is wrong with you? Say, so if you're there in the hole, you must speak to us or communicate with us. Turn that flashlight on. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. That's me. Sorry. Oh, thank God. Okay, thank you. So God. we're giving off high MF here because of this. Whoa. Oh, that thing. So that's a false read. But since there's a lot of electricity coming through the here, that's saying they can feed a spirit. Oh, that's good. Let's feed it more. Why not, right? He's hungry. If you want to eat my heart, turn that light on. I think this demon's a wimp. He's lost his mind. <laughs> you want to lay on the pentagram? Here we go. You're out of your mind. Rock and roll, buckaroo. If you want to eat my heart, turn that light on. If you want to eat Ryan's heart, don't, don't turn that light on. Stop putting me in your shit. Our old pal, Ryan Bergara. Stop. We're a package deal. Oh! The lights on, Ryan! Look at the lights! Demon! We got him! Jesus Christ! Turn it off for us, please. For Ryan's sake. Ah! No! <laughs> Fuck this house, dude. Fuck this house so hard. Well, now we get to spend the night here. Well, I don't think this happening can be turned down. I count this one as some of the most conclusive evidence ever produced. What do you think about it? Do share your thoughts. Now, let's head to the next episode. For number one, I'll choose none other than the Hauntings of Hannah Williams episode. This was the first home investigation of this duo. By far, this episode gives the most convincing evidences ever recorded. I mean, my hope has always been that you guys would go spend the night, nothing happens, we all move on. Well, I will say this, and this is not hyperbole, 
in, in the slightest. This is by far the most evidence we've ever found in any place by a considerable margin. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? This episode was filled of spooky moments, but I had tried to keep the best of all of them which in turn, may make this section a little long. Now, for better understanding, I'm going to explain the characters here. Hannah Williams is the homeowner, along with Matt Williams, who is her husband. They also have a little child in their home. But there's also a spirit, or perhaps a demon in the house, who presents itself as a little girl named Matilda. In this episode, they also hired a psychic named AJ, for investigation. This is our first house call, so I thought it would be wise to offer all we could to try and solve this, so I called in a psychic. Hi, how's it hey, going? How are you doing, AJ? Uh, Ryan, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I'm hey, Shane, this nice is the you. Osmo. Nice to meet you. Yes. That's, uh... <laughs> the psychic presented some true facts before them, which left everyone surprised. Um, I don't know if you guys are connected to the homeowners, you still talk with him, but I do believe there is a father figure that is passed over because it feels like there's like a father figure that is connected here to the home. I keep on hearing the name Don or Ron, like Don or Donald is connected here. Oh my God, that's Matt's dad. So. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Sorry, that was just so surprising. You okay? Yeah. That's Matt's dad. Don. Don. Donald. <laughs> wow. For the record, off camera, he also identified my grandpa that just passed a couple weeks before this investigation and told me things that um, I said to him on his deathbed, and I don't know how he knew oh those God. things. So. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. Yeah. I, I mean, he it was. It's a lot. Okay. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Moving on. I'm like shaking right now. Yeah, I know I was too. Oh. If we need to stop, you can let me okay. know. Okay. All right. The episode is full of knocks, thumps, and footsteps in almost every corner of the house. Matilda! Give it your best! What was that? Did you hear that? I admit it could be the wood creaking. Convenient. Oh! <laughs> That's fun. A little tap tap up there. That's right where he was saying he thought maybe something was hanging, but okay. Can you step forward, please? Can you make one of these devices? I heard that too. Right? From up, from yeah. above. You, you, you said hear you them hear, all the time. You hear the bangs all the time. Does yeah. that sound like what it normally sounds like? Yeah. Okay. And it's one and it's like a... Yeah. Come step forward, please. Who's over there? Follow the light. Follow my voice. I'm over here. Is it happening? Has the haunt begun? There was also a female laughing voice, which the crew heard, but was not recorded on camera. Here. Boy, that's a good, that's sort of a good campfire tale here in <laughs> like, uh, feet, but also sort of a Wait, dry for a second. Huh? I thought I heard whimpering. Sorry, go again. Say what you were saying. Oh, I no, I just heard that. No, is it her? I just heard that. Devin, are you, are you speaking out there? Yeah. No, I swear, I just heard yeah. that as well. Yeah, I thought she was laughing. I thought so too. Were you laughing? No. What the fuck? I, I did hear it and I thought it was dead. <sighs> okay, so that's Matt, me, and AJ all hearing the same like laughing. But what's weird is we don't catch it on we don't catch it in audio. Ugh. I don't know what that's it's about. It's messing with your brain. And at the last, they had this new version of Spirit Box called an ovalus, which interpreted surrounding readings into understandable noise. And by far, this is the most horrifying moment, as you can clearly see the ovalus replying to Shane and Ryan. I have two major parts of this. Take a look. I'm just gonna put it right on the bed, right but where Hannah sleeps. Oh, look at all the mirrors in here too. I know. This is probably why there's a lot of activity in here, because mm -hmm. of the mirrors. Yeah, mirrors are said to be portals. Right. Openings. Doors. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We're talking directly again to Matilda, if that's actually your name. We're talking to the little girl that keeps showing herself in this house. If you are in fact a little girl, can you please show yourself? Can you prove yourself that you're here in this room with us? Can you check the back of my, um, my arm? Are you getting a scratch? <laughs> oh, that was weird. Here, right, right there. Is there anything there? No, not really. Okay, it just started to burn. Started to burn. It could be my head. Oh, probably. Who's here? Is it Matilda? 
We don't got all night, dork. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Who are you here for? Who are we talking to? All right. Nothing. No one. They may, they may be scared of you. Do you fear the tall man? If this was an other scenario and they thought we were ghosts, That's could you imagine no, how frightening you would be? <laughs> I, I see a tall man. He wears squares. Just to really razz him, just to, if they do think I'm a ghost, I'm going to give them the scare of their life right now. Okay, this is ready. <laughs> I got him. Okay, we're leaving. Wait, don't oh, fucking Christ, you! Yeah. Almighty, why do I, every time I get near this stupid box? Yep. Not like I said your name. Yeah, I know. It's not like I said right. And yep. Yeah, it did kind of sound like it said my name. Okay, we're leaving. I'm turning it off. Here's your chance. Three. Three. Are you kidding me? It's not done. What do you want to say? I'm going. Yeah. You. <laughs> oh. My hair's just rising like this. What the fuck, dude? Uh, yeah, the hair is rising up in my arm, too. Why? It's actually, I'm a, I've actually got goosebumps right now, yeah. too. Oh, I actually see that's it. That's involuntary. No, yeah, that's I'm not like, I don't have chills. I think there's just an energy in the room. Do you not want me to leave? I'm going to turn this off. <coughs> One more time, please. Can you say that again, please? I'm talking to you. Can you say that again, please? Who are you? I don't know if you caught that, but this lit up red. Oh, the temperature yeah. changed. What do you want with this house? What do you want with me? <coughs> oh, this just ran out. Why are you playing with me? Just speak. Why do I have to threaten every time? I'm going to turn it off for sure this time. Do you hate Ryan? <laughs> Does he know? <laughs> I hate this. Last chance. Five. What? Five. <laughs> He's mocking. You're mocking you. me, huh? You think this is funny? Cause I don't. Do you want me to say I'm gonna? You want me to count down again? I'm gonna turn it off in five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Stop. I think so. Not yeah. sure. I would go back and listen to that audio. Is there a Matilda here? Are we speaking with Matilda? All right, you're gonna make me do it again. I'm gonna turn this off in five seconds. And I mean it this time. Five. Five? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have anything on your hands, are you? That's triggering it or no? Me? That's oh, crazy. Oh, I'm holding it my entire, the entire time. That's crazy. Are we talking with Matilda? You are? Shut up. <laughs> Yo, this is fucking crazy. This is crazy. Uh, if that's true, say your name. I need to hear your name, otherwise I'm not gonna believe it. If you're really taking this, uh, this whole I'm a child thing this far, I respect the method, but I'm starting to get frustrated. You're gonna make me count down again, are you? Okay, here we go. I'm turning it off in five, four, three, Two, one. Wow. All right. I am that's out crazy. of here. <laughs> that is freaking crazy. So, that's all about this episode. I have tried my best to present everything important in this video. But if you think that I missed something, or perhaps you have a suggestion to include in this list, you can comment it down. I wanted to include the Annalise Michael case in this list, but it was too terrifying to hear that demonic voice over and over again, it made me to creep out. Also, it was a bit hard to include an episode which completely consisted of a storyline, therefore I didn't include it here. And yes, about the next season, I got this from a controversial Reddit post. This is Shane, explaining that the Ghoul Boys are still a part of BuzzFeed, and that the new season is on a pause due to the pandemic. 
So it is clear now, that there will be more seasons, once this quarantine is over. And I think this news should make you happy. Well, thanks for watching the entire video. Do like and subscribe to show up some support. We're working on more videos like this. See you again.